and so you made it through the test of will! Oh! Are we going to do the thing now? <laughs> <clears throat> Prepare yourself, messenger, and behold the might of our order! You shall emerge as the chosen one, or not at all! Enough introductions! I'm going first! Well, someone's excited. I've been preparing that speech for decades, and he just... You'll get over it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. So I guess this is the thing he wanted to do. Damn it. Shit. Hey, what's going on, J Dog? Damn, he's not even blinking yet. This ain't good. Okay, now he's blinking. How about you? I'm doing good, man. Uh, just got back from Summer Jam. Had a lot of fun. Got to hang out with people, push some buttons, and now I'm trying to get this uh, recording for YouTube done. Oh, shit. This is hands down one of the best retro games I've played in a while. What's that? Oh shit. Oh, go, 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 here. Oh, God, they move.
We could use some of those Tenno mods. Yeah, no shit. Where's the goddamn Warframe when I need it? <laughs> Give me a Warframe. Give me a Guardian. Fuck. Give me Ryu Hayabusa. I don't care. Okay, I think he's coming. Please let me do the prophecy bit this time. I'm staying out of this. Do whatever you want. <clears throat> and so you made it through the test of might. Okay. What's next? <clears throat> To fulfill the prophecy, you must pass the test of faith by taking the leap! The leap? <clears throat> the leap! Yes! I don't get it. Well, the test of faith, leap, leap, your faith makes sense, no? Oh, just jump already! Come on, I was trying to have an epic moment here. <clears throat> no, hero! Lend your courage to hope, and your strength to purpose, then dive into their destiny to emerge as the one true messenger! Alright, bye. <laughs> and we go from 8-bit to 16! Everything looks fucking cool! God, this game looks pretty now. Son, son of a bit, get, get the fuck over there! <laughs> Thank you. something and everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. Seriously, wow. Any idea what happened though? Sorry, I just can't get over that hat. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. <laughs> We've gone from Sub-Zero to Raiden. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Best game dialogue ever. Oh, dude, the dialogue in this game is amazing. Tenno whore! A what whore? <laughs> Hey, just going around showing love to the small streamers over here having a rad stream. Thanks, Dustin. I appreciate that, dude. A what whore? Uh, Warframe speak. Sorry, Raxel. <laughs> 
It's such a weird word to the uninitiated. <laughs> but we are initiated, aren't we, Obi? Oh, son of a- oh, shit. Dad. Damn it. <laughs> That was my own dumbass fault, I got too antsy. That went, like, ten times smoother. <laughs> the, the bass that 16-bit music loved using? Oh, yeah. Dude, I love 16-bit music. Like, absolutely adore it. I have always been a gigantic fan. Eh, I can't go that way yet. Damn. Well, look who's wearing a hat now. <laughs> so, uh, cool hat. Oh, you like that? Is it why you chose to wear one as well? What? Well, you had the same hat. No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're going to tell yourself? Fine. I did have the hat first and you were all over it. Right. Yeah, that all happened, sure. It's true though. Look, you can put your head in the sand all you want in an attempt to preserve your ego, but clearly it's not going to work on the person that was there when it all happened. <laughs> I mean, we, we, we did have the hat first. I mean, time may be subjective to you, but we did have the hat first. <laughs> and oh shit, dragon. Okay, crap. <laughs> I guess we're okay now. <laughs> Where's your hat, dude? So the dragon having pushed you into a corner just fucks off? Yeah, apparently so. Yeah, at this point, Raxel, I I know about as much as you do. We, we are past uh, how far I went. You fucking... Mm. Damn it. I bet you wish these moving blocks were a bit more forgiving. Yeah, just, just, just a skosh.
Sadly, I wasn't around for the age of 8-bit and 16 gaming. Oh, dude, it was... It was fun times. It was definitely fun times. Depending on the game, because with, uh... For every good 8-bit and 16-bit game, there were at least 10 really bad ones. <laughs> Wait, now that we're back here, can we... Okay, still can't touch the cabinet. Damn it. <laughs> and shit, the dragon's back. Okay. Getting a little close, man. <laughs> River City Ransom was a great 8 bit. Oh, hell yeah, it was. Hey, Papa Grunt, good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Whatever, I'll take the hit. Oh, shit. And then I said, look, you either put your socks on or your sandals, but you can't do both. Oh, sorry, did you just get crushed? <laughs> Douche! <laughs> At least I can farm those crystals every time I die. At least some of them. No! 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 Damn it! <laughs> Been working, got school, just busy, thought you were playing a Ninja Gaiden that I'd never seen. Game looks fun. Oh, dude, this game is so much fun. It's definitely got frustrating moments, but it's a lot of fun. had the right idea with what I was doing. Let's see if third time's the charm. Or I could just miss it completely. Either one, I could, I could do that too. If someone's watching... <laughs> okay, yeah, we already saw that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, ooh. We fucked up right to where we needed to be. I'll take it. <laughs> Yay! Alright, let's go get these crystals so we can get him off our fucking back. Oh 
some more clouds. Is it dragon time again? Yes, it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, thank God. I thought I was about to bite the big one there. Oh, wait, is he actually going to stand and fight us now? idea of what he'll do. <laughs> Alright, so let's move all the way over to the corner. And try not to die yet again. Come on, you fucker! Molly whopped the shit out of him! <laughs> That's a good sign. Oh no, oh no, 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 damn it! <laughs> Why do I feel like you meant to do that? <laughs> Shut that poor mouth, Quarble. I'm not here to take any of your sass.
Hmm. This is getting a little hairy. Fucking barely, oh my god. If I messed that up, even in the slightest, I'd have died again. Oh. Are we a good dragon again? Oh, he likes us! I've been watching you for a long time, messenger. Who are you, anyway? So the disguise did fool you. It's a shame you freed my slave pet. But no matter. I'm now certain I can defeat you. You! <laughs> Surprised. Time to pay for what you did to my people. Bold words. Coming from such an unprepared adventurer. The underworld awaits you, messenger. At last, the scroll will be ours. Watch your step now. Wee! So we are officially in hell. Fun! Do I have enough for anything? I do not. Shit. Okay. God damn it, missed the fucking shot. 50 deaths, son of a bitch. Oh god, it's right. Uh, 51 deaths already. Is that controller functioning properly? He always looks so angry to see me. God damn it! <laughs> That's what I get for hesitating. A whopping 463 time shards accumulated so far. I'm glad they assigned me to you. <laughs> No, no, oh, come on, man.
Mm. Oh, that was my own dumbass fault. Like that, I lost the health. Oh, fucking jump. Thank you. What's going on, dude? Oh, fuck me. at that time. Oh, that is so unfair. Come on. Definitely don't want to lose those. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we need a thousand for that. <sighs> Nowhere left to run, demon. Why would I run? You stepped right into my trap. We'll see about that. <laughs> we in this now, champion of the blue robes. Bring it on, motherfucker. So we know what this asshole's about. there's ever been tell me how to end this curse or else <sighs> is it that simple in your head ninja all of this is bigger than you or me I am ending this your demon king is next make no mistake messenger none of us are leaving this place alive if I can't have the scroll that it shall be destroyed! Nah, Elfin Lead, it's not Raiden. <laughs> no, oh. I was trying to survive. <laughs> 
Close call. I gotcha, buddy. Thanks. I guess we're even now. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Manfred. What kind of a name is that for a sky serpent? It's not my birth name, but I've always wanted to be a butler. Okay. Well, you should dress for the job you want, and not the one you have, right? So? So call me Manfred. Alright, Manfred. What did you do before the demons mind-controlled you? No time to explain. This is your big moment! <laughs> I'm riding a fucking dragon, and that's fucking cool. This game is awesome. <laughs> for the western hero. No prophecies for you, worm. Prepare to die. Here I come to wreck the day! <laughs> you! I see Bonathizel failed me once again. Your reign is over, despot. <laughs> You think this is how it works? Know your place, ninja. Our curse is never ending, and your time is up. As for you, soldier, I can't wait for my minions to make short work of you. That was amazing! You're the Western hero, right? No, I'm... Did I travel so far east that I made it back to my village from the west? Everything's so different now. The Tower of Time really sent me to the future? I guess this means... Hey, I have an important task for you, I think. Pardon? I mean, take this scroll. You need to carry it across the world to the top of the highest mountain. Really? I'm 100% down to leave this outpost! Yes. A messenger is needed. A messenger? Godspeed! What? <laughs> Just take the scroll. And I stole Raiden's head. And so your time as messenger is up. What do I do now? Well, you could take a few moments to appreciate the reveal that it was all just a loop. No way. I still want to be a part of the adventure. Oh. We'll get right to that. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, it's time. Time for what? For you to finally open the cabinet! Really? Yes. Go ahead and open it. Alright. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it's just a closet for blue robes. Why, yes. What did it look like? Well, don't just stand there. Grab one your size. I think I hear someone coming. Get behind the counter. It's the soldier. Ah, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Hey, I said the same... I mean, do I look like a shopkeeper? What? Anyway, here's a power-up that'll let you charge your beam. Oh, there's upgrades, too? Sweet! <laughs> I guess somebody found a jumping upgrade, too. So thanks for the beam charger upgrade. 
You bet. You know, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why Ray Troyd invented it decades ago. Who's Ray Troyd? Just the follow-up to an earlier joke. I don't get it. Some will. <laughs> hey, is everything alright? It's kind of boring, but I guess I'm okay. No, I mean, it's been a while since your messenger visited. Oh, I, I don't know. I didn't enter the shop so often myself. You're in the Tower of Time, remember? So? So it should be automatically take you forward in time to the next important moment. Which is? Either your messenger enters the shop or dies. Oh? Did your messenger die? How would I know that? By using the scrying orb. If Quarble isn't sent within 10 seconds, your messenger dies for good. And when were you planning on mentioning that? Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! We need to fix this. Oh, is it we now? Come on, now is not the time to argue. We have to look at this holistically. Look at this holistically? What does that even mean? It means I'm as lost as you are, but I still want you to think I'm the smartest one here. I'll go fetch the scroll. Hold on. All this so I can become a faceless Skeletor? Apparently so! <laughs> Be right back. I need to talk to the others. Good, that gives me time to take a drink. Okay, we've reached an agreement. You're the one that needs to finish this. Really? Yes, really. You weren't really fit to be a shopkeeper anyway. I'll leave the scroll here with your clothes. Come join us after you've changed. So was the shopkeeper once a messenger too? Maybe. Maybe that maybe that's the deal. You train to become a messenger. And once you're done being a messenger, you become a shopkeeper. <laughs> kind of fucked up if you ask me. Hey, it's you! I really miss that time we did the thing! The others don't want to do it anymore. Welcome to the Tower of Time. I put it back into its headquarters form after you beat the challenge. Which I had designed myself, by the way. If you want to replay it, let me know. You may have missed a few hidden items. Uh, I, I don't want to do it right now. Uh, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is he's been carrying the scroll for a long time already, and it could be dangerous. It is exactly as was foretold in the visions. A born-again messenger will master time itself to end the curse by fighting the in two cycles simultaneously. I don't know. Warping once to go to the future was risky enough. You think he can sustain doing that constantly? Well, unless you want to carry the scroll again, I don't see what other choice we have. Besides, we really need to find the remaining music notes. <laughs> so you still believe the music box is important? Well, I am the prophet, right? So? So yes, I do believe in the prophecy. Well, if you really mean to help the messenger, try to tone down that wannabe epic tone of yours. <clears throat> Careful, heathen! The mist of legend are very complex! And attempts to trivialize their meaning may cause... Whatever, I'll be in my shop. <laughs> so the prophet will be your guide from now on. Good luck with that. 
<laughs> they called it, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and so the messenger rises once more! I'm not sure what I should do next. <clears throat> The mist of time are quite intricate indeed, but fear not, the prophet is here to unravel their meaning! I feel like I'm putting too much Dr. Orpheus into this guy, but maybe it's working. <laughs> More like the interpret then, am I right? <clears throat> I will forgive this affront for these troubled for these are troubled times. Behold, messenger! As the Tower of Time's portal's nexus activates to help you on your quest! <laughs> Return here whenever you seek guidance and I shall provide Godspeed! You don't know what's funnier, the game or the voices? I mean, there, there's a reason I decided to do this with the camera off. <laughs> there is damn good reason. <laughs> Hey, you worked! Yeah, pretty neat. Things are probably going to get cryptic from now on with all this profit business. So you'll probably want to make extensive use of your map. My map? Your map, yes. I don't have a map. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you, I don't have a map. Okay, let me get this straight. We gave you a scroll. The fate of this whole world seems to hinge on it. We gave you a hero title relating to it. You carried it for days across perilous situations, even through time itself. And you never even bothered reading it! You're an animal. <laughs> Turns out the scroll was actually a map. <laughs> I don't know, the frozen images at the start of your video messages can be pretty hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, cool, we have a map now. <laughs> I'll be in my shop. If you have the coin, I'll be happy to mess with the prophet by pointing out the hints on your map. Be safe now. Alright, so this is where the game gets a touch tedious, but also this is where the game shines the brightest. Because, okay, right now it is 16-bit graphics, but we're going to be running into these little portals, like this, that poof, put us right back in the 8-bit era. So you're instantly shifting between the two. The messenger is really dumb or just super lazy to read. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say yes to all. <laughs> oh yeah, now that I'm done, you give me a fucking map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the blue areas show me places I haven't explored yet. So, alright, to the left we go, I guess. Come on, really? Gotta be up at 5 a.m. for clinical. All right, Dad, have a good night. Hey, why are you why are you saying fuck you to the shopkeeper? I love the shopkeeper. <laughs> the shopkeeper is funny as hell. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's not our fault that the messenger is an oblivious idiot, all right? <laughs> Oh no, no. <laughs> so it's Ryu if he had a brain tumor? Damn, that's harsh. So, okay, so these are placed in a certain way that we need to hit them in a certain order in order to make the routes actually make sense. Got it. So ninja saves game type of game. By the way, storytelling in these Warframe quests are good, like really good. Yeah, I've been watching a YouTuber. Um, his name, my name is Bife. He's a big Halo uh, Destiny lore channel, and he actually just got done doing a five video series on the lore of Warframe, and I watched it all. So I'm just like, oh my god, this story is actually really cool. So I'm actually lo really looking forward to playing some more Warframe. Uh, once we finish up Forsaken. Materialized from the repeating intentions of countless villagers wishing their messengers well over past cycles, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Interesting. Ah, damn it.
Oh, hello. You're so close to the sacrifice quest, now it's time to do the Chains of Horror quest. Right on. Yeah, I don't even know, like... Actually, yeah, I still need to do the second dream. I think that's where I am. Oh, the closet's not a thing anymore. <laughs> Damn. So I know going back to the village is a thing I need to do. Now for this part of the game, guys, if uh, you guys want to help me, because we're basically backtracking at this point. If you want to help with any type of backtracking, by all means, shout out in the chat if there's something I need to go do. <laughs> jump, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Champion returns! How is adventure treating you? A little bit harder than I thought, but the music is amazing. You left too soon. I should have taught you the power of true sight. True sight? It is a technique seldom taught to young students such as yourself. Unless the mind can be expanded, that is. How can I expand my mind? A warm cup of astral tea will do that. Unfortunately, we ran out of astral leaves a few years ago. All we have is a single seed, but fully growing. It would take centuries. Give me the seed. I'll see what I can do. I was hoping you'd say that.
Now find a flower bed and wait a few centuries. Like, yeah, I'm not even entirely sure what that means. Boy! Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on, Floor York? Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's go over that way. That um, whole area that we didn't get to uh, traverse at the beginning of the game. Did you really need the map, though? 
Uh, honestly, at this point in the game where I'm having to do a lot of backtracking, yeah, the map becomes a little necessary. Okay, so that leads us to the catacombs. Alright. Because it go, um... Earlier in the game, like, in the 8-bit parts, it's, it's very linear. Um... Oh, great. At this point in the game, it switches from a linear playstyle to a non-linear, kind of like uh, Super Metroid. So you're going back to different places, exploring areas that you couldn't previously, and all that type of stuff. Well, Oh, wait, never mind. We're okay. Just go the other way. And I mean, I could always pay the shopkeeper to just put hints on the map, but I am trying to avoid doing that. Because the more I pay him for hints, the less I'm going to have for upgrades. Oh, horse shit. Okay, Max. <laughs> what has Max got to do with any of this? <laughs> he likes going in blind. I kind of like going in blind a little bit, too. mentality about that type of stuff. Don't backseat game me unless I ask you to backseat me. You're there to share in his experience, not make his experience just like your experience. You know what I'm saying? You don't backseat me? Oh no, you don't. I've never accused you of doing so. Maximilian says horse shit as well. Well, yeah. I mean, you, you gotta get creative with your cursing every now and then. If you're just saying fuck all the time, then it's just like, eh, whatever. I mean, that's, that's why he says shit like horse's nipple. He's... He's diversifying it while trying to make it humorous. Which I applaud him for, because when he says horse's nipple, I'm just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's funny. That's, okay, that's, that's a little much. It, funny, but that's a little much. <laughs> oh shit. Saving me earlier. I've been looking for my colleagues, Acro, Claustro, and Pyro. Well, guess I'm not going that way. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure where to go. No! 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 Damn it! I was really hoping I'd make it. <laughs> some shit in here I can do, I guess. That was free falling, yeah. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> uh, that's not cool, game. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. go take care of some things what did you miss apparently we're doing a bunch of backtracking now to find notes for a music box okay so that leads us to there yeah, okay. we don't need to go that way some of you were telling you to do the main quest when you're having fun doing side quests. Oh yeah, I've had people do that to me a ton. I had that shit happen almost religiously with uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Like, every single time I streamed it, somebody would do that. Like, quit fucking around with that shit and do the fucking uh, main story, please. Like, and they always said please, too, which made me kind of go, like, fucking really... You're making demands of me, and then you turn around and say, please. I mean, like, that's supposed to make it all better that you're bossing me around on my channel. <laughs> but I 
I take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't really bother me all that much. situations like that where like a, uh, a viewer or somebody like that is trying to make you do something while you're in the middle of doing something else it's like fuck <laughs> damn it complete the messenger please yeah right <laughs> if you don't like what I'm doing in the game currently the the answer to your woes is ridiculously simple Play the game yourself. Hell, I mean, I, I've told viewers this, like, oh, I don't want to watch you because you're you're playing something and you're going to spoil it, and I haven't played it yet, and I want to play it, and guys, there's, there's a ridiculously simple solution to that. Play it with me. Like, <laughs> play it right alongside me. Like, that is a very easy solution. Or if I'm jumping ahead of you, or something like that, then, dude, fuck it. Like, just put the stream on mute until you get there. <laughs> it's, it's not a hard thing to do. People complain just to complain? Oh yeah! Like, absolutely they do. And I mean, hell. Complaining to Eris, of all people? <laughs> Good luck. Tell me how it turns out for you. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I'll definitely say it right now. If Eris is doing something, and he is enjoying himself, and you try and get him to do something else, you are probably going to get the swiftest fuck you in existence. <laughs> you you ain't telling Eris to do nothing. <laughs> you you ain't telling him to do shit. <laughs> Viewers were getting shot left and right. Yeah, with Eris, I'm not surprised. Same thing happens to people who stream The Witcher and play little side games, get so much shit for no reason. I never understood that. Like, I, I've genuinely never understood that. Like, why watch a streamer have their own experience with a game and then get mad because they're having their own experience? Like, that has never, that has never made sense to me. Like, you... You watch a streamer to see how he or she experiences a game. 
why would you try to take that away from them by making them play how you want them to play? Let them have their own experience. I mean, that's, that's why, like, I think Maximilian's mentality and all that type of stuff, like, I, I very much agree with shit like that. Like, if I want help, I will ask for it. Until then, you can make comments. You can make jokes about what's happening to me. Don't tell me how to play my fucking game. It's, it's my game, and I will play it how I see fit. If how I'm playing the game does not appeal to you, nobody is twisting your arm to stay here, and you can go play the game for yourself. I mean, it, it's pretty simple math. People don't care, honestly. It's crap. Yeah. I mean, people... Trolls are gonna troll no matter what. Um, being a streamer, you just need to make peace with that. And uh, deal with it in the kindest, most professional man uh, manner possible that you can muster. At least that's what I try to do. And I mean, hell, I watch, I watch other streamers and take notes every chance I get. I think the dude that handles trolls the best, at least in my opinion, the guy that handles trolls the best is Professor Broman. Broman is nice until you push him to the point of him saying, okay, fine, I don't care anymore, and I'm just going to unleash on you. <laughs> final resting place. Looks like there's a note addressed to the messenger. Dear messenger, if you're reading this, it means my research indicated it is true, and you travel 500 years into the future. I meant it when I said I was done being evil. I even planned for my relics to come to your aid. First is my amulet, yours to keep and remember me by. I also left my staff at the top of Glacial Peak, and it will answer to you as long as you carry my amulet. Also, I did some digging around the catacombs, and I believe I found a secret entrance to a new area you should explore, though it was very dark. Look for the secret passage in the room with two bats and a moving platform. Best of luck on your quest, Rockstep. Alright, I'm assuming I need to find a way to illuminate that, uh, that place. Yeah, let's see what's let's see what he's got to say. Do you have any stories to share? Of course I do. But now is not the time. Why not? You're in the bamboo creek. This is as sunny as it gets in here in this here cursed world. So So I suggest you take the opportunity to play outside. 
Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> well, wait. If it's if it's sunny, is this where I need to plant the seed? God, that would just be an immense help if this is where I need to plant the seed. Dick fucking move game. This guy streamed Fallout Vegas and people were yelling at him to do the main quest and use these weapons and just trying to control everything about what he was doing. It was awful. Yeah, see. That, that's not cool. That's not how you treat a streamer, dude. Just, you just don't do that. Oh! Oh! Come on, go, 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 go. Motherfucker. And I'm gonna die because of that. Yep. Fuck. I had it figured out! Oh my god, dude. Stop. was not paying attention at all. Can't really play that one off with you should see the other guy. <laughs> I mean, I can try to play it off on the other guy. So backseat gaming. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially what they were doing to that guy. Which is a damn shame.
What do we have over yonder? A whole lot of nothing, I guess. Shit. Alright. So much for that. need to start doing a stream schedule soon because you start college tomorrow. Nice! I will definitely give you this piece of advice, Health and Lead. Make sure your schooling comes first, no matter what. Okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Technically, you start your last semester of AS, so thank God for that. Nice! Oh, he's not even giving me hints right now. Shit. Please tell me I can climb back up. Hooray. <laughs> That's it, huh? you end up trapped in here? Oh, the irony, right? It's a very embarrassing tale. I'd rather get back to my workstation. <laughs> Thanks for snapping me out of it. <laughs> Bye! Still have no fucking clue where I'm going. Not even in the slightest. <laughs> stories this year. Of course, here's one for you. There was once a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, which caused him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together, and a viable ruler for his people, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. To rid the king of his woes, the relic hunter gave him a magic ring promising it would make him sad when he is happy, and happy when he is sad. 
It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. When the king passed away, the castle's wizard promptly grabbed the wing to finally try and understand the source of its power. As it turned out, the ring wasn't magic at all. But how could a non-magic ring make you sad when you're happy and happy when you're sad? Any guess? <laughs> Not really. It had a small inscription that reads, that read, This too shall pass. Whoa, that's deep. It's more than deep. I just gave you the cure for anxiety through a fairy tale. Yo, Reaper with the resub. Thank you so much for the 15 months, dude. Thanks, shopkeeper. Hey now, don't push it. Maybe I can only ask for hints in the 16-bit form. Maybe that's the trick. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Closing as hell. I'm sorry, dude. But at least you're here now and you get to have some fun with us. just what the fuck that just led me right back there all right what about up here huh okay then I am so confused. Is it a... Well, obviously it's gotta be a maze, but fuck.
What the hell? This is some goofy shit, guys. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to come up for air, Jesus. <laughs> okay, alright. I am going to take a bathroom break. If somebody could pull up um, that maze and uh, provide some assistance, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'll keep the name up. So you know what to look for. Give me like two minutes. I'll be right back. In before someone places the water dungeon wiki from Legend of Zelda. Oh god, can can we not? I'm gonna see if I can find some shit.
<laughs> Alrighty. I mean, it's only been out for like four days. I highly doubt there's a walkthrough. Ha ha! So I guess somebody else was stuck on the maze. <laughs> 